unapologetic, poignant, brilliant. These words captured the essence of Ed Bullen's plays. Born in 1935, Bullen's life began on the violent streets of Philadelphia's North Side. At a young age, he was almost stabbed to death. It would be a life-changing experience that was reflected in his later works. As the chaotic 60s played out in America, Bullens became a key player in the black arts movement, the artistic expression of black power. He used his skills as a playwright to educate black audiences about the power of their racial trials and tribulations. He wrote over 50 plays, including Going to Buffalo and In the Wine Time, which challenged white superiority and promoted black pride. However, his most widely acclaimed play would be 1975's The Taking of Miss Janie. The play begins as Janie, a young, naive white girl who wants to be accepted by the black community, is raped by a fellow black student. For Bullens, the rape is symbolic of the cultural gaps and racial tensions that still exist in post-civil rights America. This depiction of a black man taking a white girl both enraged many American whites but also captivated theater critics. As a result, the taking of Miss Janie would win Bullens an Obie and a New York Drama Critics Circle Award. About the play, he said, I don't write to please the audience and reassure everyone that we agree, just so it makes them examine themselves. In a work like this, the truth is open-ended. Like Hemingway said, if I wanted to send a message, I'd go to Western Union. In 1995, Bullens was appointed a distinguished artist in residence at Northeastern University in Boston, Massachusetts. Hi, I'm Bill Ambrose. If you like this video, subscribe so we can bring you more programming from our studio. Thank you for subscribing.